Well, all that data in the world, all the technology, all the surveillance in China cannot use it for something as basic as issuing timely flood warnings. Because the country is experiencing what's been called the worst flood in decades. Several provinces are struggling to stay afloat. People are stranded in flood, flooded high-rises and drowning cars. Our next report shows you the chaos that is China today. They say when it rains, it pours. Recognize this place? This is China, a China that's inundated. The country is battling the worst flood in decades. A red alert has been issued in several provinces. Villages and cities are struggling to stay afloat. Roads have collapsed. And so have houses. This is Guangdong, China's most populous province. Also the second most populous country division in the world. Guangdong is China's manufacturing hub, home to the likes of Huawei and Tencent. On a sunny day, you would see construction sites everywhere. Currently, floodwaters are sweeping everything in sight. Look at this fire engine. Schools have been closed. Businesses have been closed. At least 200,000 people have been evacuated. And the flood warning has been raised to the highest level. Guangdong has reported damages upwards of $250 million. In the Jiangxi province, there's knee-deep water everywhere. People living in high-rises are climbing down balconies. Homes of some 500,000 people have been damaged in this province alone. More than 43,000 hectares of crops have been destroyed. Jiangxi is reporting damages upwards of $70 million. In neighboring Guangxi, people are being packed into rubber dinghies and ferried to higher lands. In Fujian, a driver was found stranded in a drowning car. And this is the province of Zhejiang. We don't know how many people have died in these floods or how many have been injured. China simply won't tell. A Global Times report says that a number of rescue workers died when they transferred locals to safe areas. But the Chinese mouthpiece was careful to not reveal that number. Floods are not uncommon in China, especially during the summer months. But this year it's different. It's the worst flood in decades. The prophecy is scarier. Analysts say that the flooding will continue for at least 10 days. It will affect domestic production and push up inflation the story does not end here. While it's flooding in southern China, the north is battling extreme heat. Temperatures have crossed 40 degrees Celsius, be it in the province of Hebei, Shandong or Henan. At least 12 provinces are battling heat waves. It's an extreme situation of extreme weather. China maintains it's all under control. Except it doesn't quite look like it. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.